three dopamine hacks which are gonna transform your life according to neuroscience. Number one, get dopamine from creation, not from consumption. It's super easy to get access to dopamine by consuming social media, by watching movies, by eating junk food. And what these things do is they give you a momentary increase in dopamine, but then it leads to a crash. So your dopamine baseline increases with time and it makes it harder to feel motivated or get pleasure from less intense things like going for a walk. What you want to do from this unfulfilling mindless consumption is to switch to creation. So dopamine can be produced by you creating something which will much more fulfill you. Number two is to understand the pain pleasure mechanism of dopamine. If you constantly do something that brings you pleasure, let's say you constantly go to that coffee shop and order the same croissant and that brings you pleasure and you do it every day, eventually you're going to get less and less pleasure from that activity. What you need to understand is that deprivation, so low dopamine, makes the dopamine that comes afterwards become more intense and more pleasurable. So if you want to keep enjoying an activity, you need to take breaks. So if you stop eating that croissant for a week and then do it again, you're going to enjoy it much more. This works for relationships as well. If you constantly see the same person every day, you're not going to enjoy spending time with them as much as if you're taking breaks when you're seeing them. You don't see them for a couple of days and then you see them. And when you see them, it becomes more pleasurable and more intense. Number three, stop layering dopamine. This means if you're going to the gym, you're also listening to music, you're also taking pre-workout, you're also drinking coffee, so you're adding all these dopamine sources on top of each other, layering them, which makes the activity itself, working out, less exciting and pleasurable. Or if you're in bed with your partner and you're eating junk food and watching a movie and listening to music, being with your partner becomes less pleasurable over time. You're getting less pleasure from the interaction because you're putting all these conditions for you to be able to enjoy that activity. So remove multiple sources of dopamine release and leave just the main activity. Just go to the gym and work out without any music, without scrolling on your phone or taking pre-workout. Spend time with your partner without eating junk food, without watching movies or, you know, layering things on top of each other. And you're going to get much more dopamine from that activity in itself.